Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 19th of 2021. Well, it is titled the jellyfish and Mars. So what do we see here? Well, we see a number of different things in this image, uh, including stars, a planet and a nebula. Now we of course see a number of stars here. But the two brightest stars are off to the left. And those are stars in the constellation of Gemini. And that's the area of the sky that we happen to be looking at in this image. The nebula in between them we see down a little bit below uh, below center and towards the left side of the screen is known as the jellyfish nebula for its distinctive shape with tendrils going down uh, similar to what we would see with a jellyfish. And that is an example of what is known as a supernova remnant. So it's actually part of a supernova remnant, which is a star that would have seen to, been seen to explode here on Earth 30,000 years or more ago. Now when a star explodes, the remnants are expelled out into space at very high speeds. And over many thousands of years, they spread out across the across the sky, and are still remain visible because they are that energetic when they occur that they are still producing energy, even at this point as they collide into other uh, particles within the interstellar medium. So we can still see that today and eventually that material will combine with other nebulae and will likely millions of years from now begin forming new stars. Now the other object that we see off to the right hand side looks like a star as well but is actually the planet Mars. And we can see that it has a distinct red glow to it. Now you note that the stars looked red as well that's because they happen to be red giant stars. You can also see a number of bluer stars or much hotter stars scattered around the image as well. But Mars appears red because of the color of its soil. So it is very reddish brown color and gives Mars a distinct red color when we look at it in the sky. Now if you look in the early evening you can see the planet Mars as well visible out in the evening sky right now. In order to see the jellyfish nebula you would need to have a telescope or binoculars to be able to see that and of course would not be able to see as much detail as you can get in a longer exposure like this. And of course, Mars as well has been very prominent in the news uh, recently over the last few months with the landing of the Perseverance rover and the testing of the Ingenuity helicopter on the surface of Mars over the past couple of months. So that was our picture of the day for May the 19th of 2021. It was titled The Jellyfish and Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.